the key to being able to deal with complex eigenvalues in a first order linear system is to be able to form the complex solution complex eigenvector e to the complex eigenvalue t and then split that complex solution into two real solutions to the system so let's look at the system defined by the matrix 3 minus 4 5 minus 5 trace negative 2 determinant 5 characteristic equation eigenvalues minus 1 plus or minus 2i I'll calculate with minus 1 plus 2i you can verify that this is my adjusted matrix it meets the mark of an adjusted matrix second row and first row are multiples of each other and the main diagonal are only off by a sign in the real part I choose the complex eigenvector 2 2 minus i by switching the coordinates of the first row and changing the sign in front of the 4 I also reduce so that I'm dealing with smaller numbers and now I form my complex solution complex eigenvector e to the complex eigenvalue t I split the e to the minus 1 plus 2 i t into e to the minus t and cosine 2 t plus i sine 2 t now I have to multiply these three complex numbers 2 times cosine 2 t plus i sine 2 t and 2 minus i times cosine t plus i sine 2 t I'll create two complex numbers and I want to split that into everything that doesn't have the i and everything that does have the i so in the first row 2 times cosine 2 t has no i on it but 2 times sine 2 t has an i coefficient with it so I'll put the 2 sine 2 t in the i column and the 2 cos 2 t in the non i column on the bottom I have to foil out 2 cos 2 t has no i so I put that in the no i column and minus i times i sine 2 t is actually minus i squared or plus 1 times sine 2 t that also has no i in it it goes in this column on the left but the imaginary parts of 2 minus i times cos 2 t plus i sine 2 t that'll be negative cos 2 t that has an i in it and 2 sine 2 t that has an i attached to it they go in the i solution column this gives me two physical real valued solutions that are independent of each other linearly independent first is 2 cos 2 t 2 cos 2 t plus sine 2 t times e to the minus t and the second is 2 sine 2 t minus cos 2 t plus 2 sine 2 t e to the minus t their initial conditions are 2 2 and 0 minus 1 respectively so you see that they're linearly independent also you see that the initial values mirror the complex eigenvector we selected the coefficients of the complex eigenvector were 2 and 2 in the real slots and 0 and minus 1 in the complex slots this gives me the general solution y of t is k1 y1 plus k2 y2 and an example of a specific solution through 3 4 you can verify that that'll be 3 halves times the first solution minus 1 times the second solution because 3 halves times 2 2 and minus 1 times 0 minus 1 will give me that initial condition of 3 and 4